What's up, YouTube? Tell you how here today, and I have got a tutorial on how to make a simple intro with kind of a simple program. Uh, the program I will be using today is Magic Movie Edit Pro 12. Um, I'm aware that there is newer versions of this program, but I just happen to like Movie Edit Pro 12 versus maybe 14 or 15. I don't know, I just seem to be able to use it a little bit better. So you're going to start by opening the program itself, and actually right when you open it, it's going to take you to the screen right here. Um, oh yeah, one thing I have to tell you, um, when you first open, actually let me go do it for you. So I want to do a save. Alright, so let me go ahead and go and open it again. This might take a second, sorry about that. Oh, what a perfect time to go hit the subscribe button right now, actually. While we're waiting, you know, you can go subscribe, do whatever you might, comment, rate, yeah, whatever. If you want to, if you don't, that's fine too. Alright, sorry for that delay there, but when you first open it up, you're going to be taken to here. And the default settings down here are NTSC 4x3. Now that's going to give you a full screen picture quality. You want widescreen, because these days most people do have widescreen uh, monitors on their computer. So you want to go down here to NTSC 16x9. Make sure that's set to that, or else your whole intro will be in full screen. So, once again, here's how it will look when you first open it. So, for the simple intro, you just want to start off with a picture for the background. Now, for myself, I'm just going to go choose a sample picture. So, as you can see, on the left and right, there's margins, and that means that this picture itself is in full screen resolution. So, you want to click on it, actually right-click on it, and then go to Object Properties. An aspect ratio right here, 16 by 9. Hit OK, and there's your widescreen background picture. So, and automatically that sets to 10 seconds. So, and that's about how long your intro should be. If it's any more than that, it's probably going to bore the people that are watching the video, and if it's any shorter, you probably won't have any time to put a title in there. So, next, you want to go look for a title. Oh, let me just go find one real quick. See this one? No. I think I'll use Pulsar. So you just want to drag it down to the timeline under the picture. And you just want to type in anything you may. Sorry. Or whatever. Sorry about that. Whatever you want to type in. And make the text. You can go change the font, the style, size. Pretty much everything. So, automatically that sets to 5 seconds, which means that if you put another title right after it, 5 plus 5 is 10, which will equal your whole um, intro. So you want to hit OK there. Once again, you can go change the, the whole, um, sorry, you can go change the whole color and all that boldness and whatever. But if you play it right now, here's what you're going to get. And as you can see, that's pretty big. So from here, if you need to go change anything, you can right click, object properties, actually don't do that, because that, you're going to fail like I just did if you do that. Double click on it, sorry. And then you're going to go over here to this and go change it back to whatever is going to work for you. So I think for this particular intro, 22 should work pretty good. Yeah, see the T and the... W still kind of go out of the frame a little bit, but whatever. So next what you want to do is, like for there you can put your channel name, but if you want to put like with another great video or presents or something like that, you can go to pick another title. See, I'll just pick this one. You want to drag it under that one, and you want to drag it wherever you want it to start. So pretty much you kind of have to use your kind of a little interval. Now as you can see both of the titles right now will go on top of each other but what, do you, what you want to do with the second title is you want to hit this um, little scroll bar thing over here and you want to pull it down and as you can see over here in the right 
it will give you a little preview of where it's going to be. So I want mine about right there. Then you can make that whatever font, um, whatever size, font style, yeah, whatever. And then you want to hit OK again. So what you end up getting is one of them, and then the other one comes in, so then at one point they're both on the screen at the same time. So you guys can just kind of mess around with that and do whatever you want. Like you could have four titles on the same screen at the same time kind of like right here. I mean, you could have another one up here, or wh pretty much whatever you want to do, it's possible. So, the last thing you might want to do is go and add some music, because if there's no music, it'll be pretty boring. So, you can go search uh, ro royalty-free music that you can use on YouTube on google.com, and it'll give you a whole bunch of websites of music that you're um, legally allowed to use. So you want to just drag this to the size of the intro itself. Go over here, back to your timeline. And you're going to want to set the volume fairly low on this because it is an intro. So, so overall that looks like an okay intro. I mean, it, it's not perfect right now, but it's going to look pretty good. So the last thing you need to do is when you export it, if you want decent quality, you need to export it as MPEG video. And then at the end settings, you want to make sure the ratio is again 16 by 9. Or else it will come out in full screen format. So, this was to tell you how production, if you'd like to rate, comment, and of course subscribe, that would help out our channel a lot. Um, if you want the newest stuff on tech reviews, unboxings, money-making tips, and of course more videos, once again, subscribe for that. And thanks for watching this video. I'll tell you how production. See ya.